Alright guys, so today we're going to set up a smart Wi-Fi plug mini and this is a two pack. So the reasons I chose this because I just wanted something simple to automate in my room like a heater or a window fan. So that's basically my idea. I just want to do it so I don't have to get up in the mornings or um, come into a hot room in the afternoons. So basically I, I went with this one because it says no hub required so which means it's affordable and cheaper than buying all those expensive hubs and add-ons and stuff like that and it works with Alexa so it'll be really cool to see automated um, another reason I went with this one these are pretty uh, compact so they're not bulky they won't take up space you can still plug something under it or on top of it and just like how compact they are and all right so let's just get, go right to the point to the unboxing so pretty much you're gonna have to go to the app store and download casa for a mobile and app store and then connect to your network and then we're gonna add these devices but I'll, I'll go through with the whole installation process with you guys so this is basically it how it looks like pretty basic design clean has one button right here I'm assuming it turns it on and off I'm not really sure yet and it's just a basic three prong pretty nice here's the other one I'm gonna set up my heater first so I'm gonna put this one in the bottom so there is a little light that turns on on the right side so now it's flashing red and blue so now I'm gonna show you the set a process through the app so from now we're, we're gonna jump into the app all right guys so we're gonna hop into the app store on my iphone put casa and it should pop out as casa for mobile tp link click on that that should direct you straight to the casa smart i know it looks a little bit different from the instructions but casa smart is the one so you want to click download and open the app, allow for notifications, and then you're going to have to create an account. So once you click on create account, it's going to direct you to this page. So you're going to type in your email and your password they're going to use to log into your account. Put the United States or whatever state you're from, location, and just click on create account. And then you're going to receive an email shortly. So click that link that just came in. And open that email. So once you open this email, then you're going to want to scroll down your email. Look for the highlighted letters that say click to finish registration. Click on that. It will prompt you with the congratulations. So now your account is now activated. So now you can move on back to the app. So now back in the app, you want to click allow for your location. Then you want to go to the right top corner, click on the little cross, add device. Now we're going to scroll down, we're going to look for your device, the smart plug. So it's right here. So we, we've already plugged in our smart plug. So now you're going to want to click next. And it's going to tell you to, that it has an orange and blue light blinking. So that's how it should be looking like. So you want to click on orange and blue. And then you're going to want to connect to your smart plug. So you're going to have to go to the settings and on Wi-Fi. And you should look for like a TP link. So yeah, right here's a TP link smart plug. So click on that. So now the notification that just came up, you want to click on it to go back to the app or jump back to the app manually. So now you're gonna have to look for your Wi-Fi name or your SSID and type in your password done and this, this thing takes like a minute to load but once it's done it's set 
Alright, so once you get this, you want to click on allow. Alright, so here is the Asper device name. I recommend doing something simple, like heater or something, just because it makes it easier to send the command through Alexa. Way simpler than saying a whole sentence. So just keep it basic and simple. And then right here, right here you're going to want to choose an icon for your device. What is it to be controlling? So mine's going to be controlling a heater. So click on this. So congratulations, sounds good. All right, so click on sounds good. And it's updating the plug. So this also takes another minute. Now it's updated complete. Click on done. So that's pretty much it. So now you're gonna have a little green button icon right next to it so once you click on that you could turn it on and off with your app so that's another nice feature so this is the general way how you would do it but I'm gonna show you a way how to connect it with Alexa so it would be fully automated so now I already jumped into the sec to the second switch and I already programmed my fan um, which is pretty much the same step that we just went through just do it again with the other one so basically this is how it looks when it's all set up so it's pretty simple nice and clean look so it kind of blends in a little um, <clears throat> so I, I did figure out that these buttons are to turn it on and off so we do press it when it turns on the light turns blue so the bottom one is controlling my heater the top one is controlling my fan So now in this part of the video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up with your Alexa, so you can automate and voice automate your your device, your fan, your heater, so you don't have to get up or open the app. So you can just voice activate it on this. So let's jump into the app, and I'm gonna show you how to add these mini plugs into your Alexa app. All right, so you're gonna wanna open up your Amazon Alexa app and click on the left corner, add device. And then you're gonna wanna look for the plug. So click on plug. And then you're gonna see right there the TP-Link Casa. Click on that. Continue. Now enable to use, so click on that. So you're gonna have to put your TP link email and password, the one we created earlier. Once you've done that, you're gonna be prompted with the saying successfully linked. So that means you're good to go. So then you wanna click on done, the bottom left corner. And then you wanna click on discover devices. So click on that and you have to let it discover the devices on your network so this might take 20 seconds and then it's going to show you how many devices are in your network so you're going to want to click on choose device and then you're going to want to look for your device heater that's one of the reasons why we made the name so short and choose group so you want to skip that we don't have any groups so just click on skip and heater is all set up and ready to use so now you want to set up your fan so click on the fan skip and now it's all set up ready to go so now when you command Alexa, all you have to say is turn on the fan or turn on the heater. So now let's try it out. Alexa, turn on the fan. Okay. Turn on. 
Alexa, turn off the fan. Okay. Okay, so fan turned off. So that's how pretty, that's how it's pretty much set up. Um, pretty simple, basic. So you can do a lot of things with Alexa, so I love about Alexa. And that's the reason I chose these, because they're compatible with Alexa. Um, it's just so useful. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on the lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on the heater. Okay. Alexa, turn off the heater. Okay. So, that's pretty much the simple basic setup. Um, so it's all app based, no smart hub or anything, pretty simple. Pretty much an Alexa, electrical outlet and straight to the fan. So yeah, that's what I love so much about this setup. It's just so simple, basic, it's all running off your network and there's no smart hub or anything. Basically just an Alexa and the smart plugs pretty much. Um, for my lights though, smart light switch, it's a Wemo switch. So I'll probably do a review on this sooner, but this one's pretty nice. I had it for almost one year and hardly any issues. It's still up and working. So, I'll make a review on that.